leaders of the United Nations Security Council met privately behind closed doors on Thursday afternoon to discuss the developing crisis on the Poland-Belarus border, where thousands of people are camped out in freezing conditions. But European Union members of the Security Council did deliver a very public message to Belarus. The EU accuses the East European nation of encouraging migrants to attempt to cross the border into neighbouring Poland. It demonstrates how the Lukashenko regime has become a threat to regional stability. We call on the Belarusian authorities to stop these inhumane actions and not to put people's lives at risk. With temperatures dropping below freezing, officials believe at least eight people have died. EU members of the UN Security Council are calling for the unhindered delivery of humanitarian assistance to the border. Estonia's UN ambassador Sven Jurgensen says the bloc will remain united against what he calls hybrid operations conducted by the Belarusian authorities. Russia's deputy UN ambassador rejects the allegations against its ally. There is a game of uh, shifting blame now by European Union. They want to picture Belarus and sometimes even Russia as uh, perpetrators of this crisis. Well, we've got used that uh, the main slogan of uh, European and uh, Western politics right now is uh, keep calm and blame Russia, so it's no surprise for us. Belarus's president, Alexander Lukashenko, is accused of fueling the migrant crisis in response to EU sanctions. Lukashenko denies the EU's accusations and has threatened to cut off gas supplies to the bloc if Belarus is slapped with additional sanctions. William Denzelow, CGTN, New York.